In the second question, we are given find the sum of all natural numbers lying between 100 and 1000, which are multiples of 5. Lying between. Now, the person has clearly mentioned lying between, right? So, since the person has mentioned lying between, we are not supposed to consider 100 and 1000 because though both of them are also multiples of 5. So, what do we need? Sum of all natural numbers lying between 100 and 1000, which are multiples of 5, we need 105. We need the sum. For the sum, let us write the series directly. So, the next term of this series will be, what will be the next term of this series? It will be 110, then you will have 115 and correspondingly continuing further, just before 1000, you get 995. And once again, if you observe, you know A1, you know the common difference and you know the last term, right? This is an arithmetic progression and you know first term, common difference and the last term. A1 is 105, this is A. Common difference D is 5 and A n is 995. You know these three things. What else? Can you find A n? Because for finding the sum, I need n. A n is equal to A plus n minus 1 D. Let's apply this. A n is 995. A is 105 plus n minus 1 times common difference 5. And I can get the value of n from here? Yes. 105 subtracted over here will be 890. 890 will be n minus 1 times 5. And what is the value of n minus 1 over here? That is 890 divided by 5. What is that? This is 1, 7 and uh, 39. Goes 7 times and 40 goes 8 times. This is what you have, 178. So n minus 1 is 178 which tells me n will be equal to 179. This is what you get. Is that okay? Yes. This is what you get. n equals 179. Sum of all these natural numbers Sn will be equal to n by 2 a1 plus a n. This is first term plus last term which gives me S179 will be equal to 179 by 2. The first term is 105 plus the last term is 995. What, what is the sum equal to? This is 179, which is okay. Upon 2 is also okay. And this is 995 plus 5 will be 1000 plus 100 is 1100. This is what you have, right? Let's multiply these two and divide by 2 after that. So 11 into 9 is, there will be two zeros. 11 into 9 is 99. You have a 9. Then you have a 9 carried forward, 11 to do 7 is 77, 77 plus 9 will be 86. Then you have a 8, 11 plus 8 will be 19. Upon 2, what is that? This is 9, 8, 4, 5, 0. 9, 8, 4, 5, 0 is a sum over here. The required sum, these numbers. And that's all that you have in this second question.